This video will cover the topic, solving a linear equation with several occurrences of the variable, variables on both sides, and distribution. I'm not quite sure what that means. This means that we are going to be working with linear equations involving one variable, typically x. However, this variable will appear on both sides of the equation, so you will have to use algebraic manipulation in order to solve for that variable. For this topic, you will need to use the distributive property. Let's start with an example problem. Solve this equation for x. The first step is to distribute the numbers outside of the parentheses to each term inside the parentheses. On the left-hand side of the equation, we multiply 2 times 3 and then 2 times x to get 6 plus 2x. We then do the same operation on the right-hand side of the equation and get 4 plus 4x. Now we have the equation 6 plus 2x equals 4 plus 4x. We subtract 4 from both sides of the equation and write 2 plus 2x equals 4x. Then we subtract 2x from both sides of the equation and write 2 equals 2x. We can now divide both sides by 2 and find that x is equal to 1. Let's try another problem. Again, the first thing we will do is distribute the numbers outside the parentheses to each term inside the parentheses. This is because of order of operations. Remember PEMDAS. This stands for doing operations in this order. First, parentheses. Second, exponents. Third, multiplication. Fourth, division. Fifth, addition. And sixth, subtraction. After we distribute, we will get 12x plus 8 plus 3x equals 5x plus 10. The left side has two like terms, so we combine them and write 15x plus 8 equals 5x plus 10. Next, we subtract 8 from both sides and write 15x equals 5x plus 2. Now we subtract 5x from both sides and write 10x equals 2. Then we divide both sides by 10 and write x equals 2 over 10. We must simplify our answer and write x equals 1 over 5. Can you do this problem in another order? Yes, you can. As long as you follow PEMDAS, you are allowed to do each individual step in whichever order you want. This means if you are adding terms together, you can add them in whatever order and you will get the same result. But you cannot add before multiplying. Overall, make sure you pay attention to the order of operations and are careful when solving for x.